Hey Hoopheads, Brad here with another breakdown, and today I want to talk to you about the Heat's defense in their 108-104 to win over the Sixers. In this win, Bam Adebayo had 23 points on 9 of 16 shooting with 2 steals, 2 blocks. He's been an absolute monster this season. Kendrick Nunn had 26 points. He was a team high plus 19. And after this win, the Heat go to 20 and 8. They have a defensive rating of 105.6, which is knocking on the door of the top 10. And in this game, the Heat made use of a lot of zone defense. So I'm going to talk about that a fair bit. Let's get into it. The Heat started the game off man to man. And here Ben Simmons gets the ball in the post against Jimmy Butler. Check out Kendrick Nunn just hanging around waiting to see if Butler needs help. The ball goes out to Embiid and now he's going to try to ISO on Leonard. As he does, Kendrick Nunn comes down from the top. And now Duncan Robinson is going to rotate over on the ball side on the guy Nunn was guarding. And he's going to deflect this shot. And that's a great rotation by Duncan Robinson there. Now check out some nice ball denial by Kendrick Nunn. Makes Josh Richardson catch it all the way up by half court. Then he goes under the screen to cut off Josh Richardson. Uses his great hands to rip the ball away. And that's the kind of tenacity that the Heat would show all game. And now off the ensuing inbound, the Heat are going to switch to a zone defense. Here you can see the two guys up by the foul line and the three guys along the bottom. This is a 2-3 zone. The Sixers are obviously surprised by the zone here. They're not quite sure what to do with it. And as soon as Tobias Harris picks up his dribble here, Duncan Robinson steps over to the wing and Jimmy Butler takes a big step back to prevent that pass to the middle. Harris winds up shuffling his feet and that's a travel. Here, as the Sixers work the ball a little bit, you can see the zone shifting as the ball moves. And eventually, they're going to get it to Embiid at the free throw line, but look how much time is on the shot clock. Because it took so long to get into the play, it's tough to really do much from here. Embiid settles for a contested jump shot, and the Heat are happy about that. Here, as Tobias Harris gets the ball, Derek Jones Jr. on him does a nice job of crowding him down in his stance so he can react to any moves. The ball goes over to Korkmaz, he pitches it right back to Harris, and this is supposed to catch Derek Jones Jr. off guard, but luckily he's down in his stance, plus he gets a little bit of help from Jimmy Butler here too. The ball ends up swinging over to James Ennis, and Derek Jones Jr. closes out from the top and does a great job of crowding him and bothering this shot so much that Ennis decides not to shoot it, tries to throw the pass underneath, and that's going to be a turnover. Great work by the Heat, great rotations, good intensity. Now off a miss, the Sixers get out in transition. The ball finds Ennis, but he has two defenders on him. Great job getting back by the Heat. Ennis kicks it out to Simmons, who attacks, but he finds Jimmy Butler and then Myers Leonard, who turn him away. And now as Tyler Hero turns this over, check out where Kelly Olynyk is. Kendrick Nunn is back to stop the ball, and Kelly Olynyk is putting a ton of pressure on this passing lane. Mike Scott, not the best ball handler, throws it out of bounds, and that's all built off Miami's hustle. This is a man-to-man -man possession for the Heat, and as Korkmaz comes off the screen here, Derek Jones Jr. does a good job of cutting off his path to the basket. Then the ball goes to Richardson, and he comes off an Embiid screen, and Bam Adebayo does a nice job of getting up to block this shot. The ball goes into Richardson's hands. He ends up scoring on the ensuing shot, but great initial defense by the Heat. And now some token full court pressure back into a zone. The Sixers work the ball to Horford in the post, and this is a good position for him to pass out of. He could send the ball to the opposite wing, but check out Derek Jones Jr. lurking in that passing lane, and Jimmy Butler gets his hands up to make it look unappealing. Horford tries to go out to Harris instead, and Butler tips the ball, and that's a turnover. Great swarming by the Heat. Now the Sixers are looking to attack the zone, and they say, okay, if you want to put Kendrick Nunn along the baseline, we're going to post him up with Ben Simmons. However, as Simmons catches the ball, Myers Leonard has already rotated over to him and that size advantage is gone. Simmons tries to drop the pass to the cutting Ennis, but Tyler Hero is under the basket waiting to get his hands in there. Solid team defense once again. As this turnover happens, check out Myers Leonard hoofing it back on D. He sets up under the basket and as Simmons attacks, he gets a beautiful block. Great job by Leonard to use his athleticism. Here the Sixers are trying to get the ball to Embiid on the low block against Myers Leonard, but Kendrick Nunn just does a great job with his one-on-one -on -one defense. Great active hands as Thibel tries to throw the pass, he deflects it and then picks it up. And that's just a great individual effort. Here off the turnover, check out how Jimmy Butler gets back on Josh Richardson. He's in his stance and that allows him to react very quickly when Richardson tries to throw this pass over the top. Butler explodes, gets a finger on it, and that's a steal. Off the top of this play, check out Butler trying to prevent the pass to Harris at the free throw line. Robinson switches on to Harris and then Josh Richardson uses a nice ball fake to free up Harris for this pass. Butler comes over for the quick double and as soon as Harris starts to retreat, Butler recedes back over to Richardson. 
Now as Ennis drives on Adebayo, check out how Kendrick Nunn works his way around Al Horford. He deflects this pass, it goes off Myers Leonard, goes back to Horford, he gets a bucket, but that could have just as easily been a steal, and that was really great rotations by the Heat on that play. On this play, check out how Derek Jones Jr. closes out to Josh Richardson standing quite straight up. This allows Richardson to blow right by him, he gets into the teeth of the defense, but Myers Leonard is there on the back line. Nice rim protection from the big fella. Now the Sixers are trying to get the ball to Embiid at the free throw line to collapse the defense. He gets the ball, but he only takes one dribble, and really, I think he should be powering through Derek Jones Jr. here. He ends up kicking it out to Thibel, who travels, and Embiid needs to work on his handle, so he's better equipped to handle situations like this. Now check out how hard the Sixers have to work to even get the ball to Embiid here. The Heat are doing a great job of bouncing around and making this entry pass so difficult. It eventually goes out of bounds off a Heat player. Now with Robinson on the ball, check out Derek Jones Jr. denying the pass to Embiid. As soon as the ball goes out to the opposite wing, Derek Jones Jr. comes out and Robinson rotates over to Embiid. Ball goes back to the opposite wing and they switch again. This shifts the defense enough to allow Josh Richardson to finally penetrate and get the ball to Embiid. But as Embiid drives, he's greeted by Adebayo as well as two other defenders. With the shot clock running down, he puts up a contested fadeaway and that's a great result for the Heat D. Here the Sixers getting a little bit smarter have Ben Simmons come off an Embiid screen. This shifts the defense and allows Embiid to catch the ball at the free throw line. But Jimmy Butler does a nice job of staying in front of Embiid, just making life a little bit difficult for him. And as Embiid tries to step through move, Bam Adebayo is there on the back line of the defense to swat it away. And Bam Adebayo is cruising for an all defense selection and maybe an all star too. And now in transition, the Heat's D gets a little bit scrambled and the ball finds its way to Ben Simmons with Duncan Robinson on him. Kendrick Nunn comes down with the double team and that's where the trouble starts. Simmons kicks it out to Josh Richardson and Derek Jones Jr. makes a nice rotation. And now the obvious next pass is to Al Horford, which will mean Bam Adebayo has to rotate out to him and that's gonna leave the heat exposed in the corner. This means Kendrick Nunn needs to be sprinting to the corner right now. Unfortunately, it takes him a second to figure out where he needs to be and this is enough time for the ball to go to the corner. Luckily for the Heat, Harris misses the shot, but you can see how quickly a defense can break down when you start to get into rotation. And then this is where it starts to get tricky with a 2-3 zone. Check out how the Sixers have three guys up around the free throw line, while the Heat only have two defenders. When the ball goes into Embiid, Leonard can't come up because that will leave Simmons open under the basket, so Butler has to come down to Embiid. This leaves Harris open on the weak side. He's going to hit a three, and if the Sixers passing and shooting had been a little bit better, they would have broken this zone much earlier and much more often, and the Heat would have had to shift defenses. And another way you can break the defense is by going for a really quick shot from a good three-point shooter, and plays like this from deadly shooters are why you don't see zone defenses quite as often at the NBA level. This time, Derek Jones Jr. is ready for that pass, and B gets the ball with Derek Jones Jr. on him. Duncan Robinson comes up for the double as Joel Embiid turns his back. Embiid scrambling a little bit, tries to throw the pass over the top to Simmons, but Bam is there to break it up and get the steal. And the Sixers are running out of time. Now with 12 seconds left, Kendrick Nunn misses two clutch free throws, but does a great job of getting back in transition. Has his hands up so the refs can't call a foul. Great positioning by Kendrick Nunn. Way to move your feet. The ball goes to Al Horford. Derek Jones Jr. is all over the shot, and that's going to be the ball game. Overall, this is a great win for the Heat, handing the Sixers their first home loss of the season, getting it done on the defensive end with a healthy dose of Zone D, and the Heat move to 20-8 and eight as they continue to battle for Eastern Conference supremacy. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of the Heat's zone defense in the comments.